the New York Times itself is a race hustling organization. So listen to the way they frame this story. This is from the New York Times. About 10% of offers to New York City's most elite public high schools went to black and Latino students this year, education officials announced on Thursday, in a school system where they make up more than two thirds of the overall student population, of the overall, of the student population overall. Okay, so now if you read that, and this is what lefties do with most things, the average person reads that and they go, my God, two thirds of the students are somehow black or brown, but only 10% got in. That must be racism. This is what uh, Sonny Hostin and many other people would call systemic racism. There must be some thing within the system, some bug in the system that is stopping black people from getting into these high schools. And it must be that the principals are racist. There's a racist policy. They're looking at people's skin color and they're saying, we don't want black people here. Well, Wesley Yang, who's actually a great journalist, uh, he uh, looked at that headline and did some digging uh, and we confirmed this. Everybody took the exact same test that was the sole criterion for admissions. 64% were Asian. And this gets to the crux of it. When you say you are for equity, meaning we want everyone to end up in the same place, which is a communist idea, it sounds good for a moment. Oh, it would be nice. Everybody will end up in the exact same place. But then to eliminate what you perceive as racism, in this case against black people, you must be racist against other people. And usually these days, it's not white people, it's actually Asian people. So Asian people, and we can discuss all the reasons why, right? It's, it's somewhat controversial, but Asian people who by and large focus on family and education, tiger mom, right? All of that stuff, they generally speaking, work very hard, it's a cultural thing, okay? They are scoring very high on these tests, which as Wesley pointed out, was the sole criterion to get into these elite high schools. So if you are for equity, as Sunny Hostin is, if she looks at this and says this is racist, what she is saying is we should take certain students based on skin color who score worse in these things for whatever reason, we should put them in these schools. And then in the first version of that would be like, people would be like, oh, that's really great. We're helping people who need help. But of course, the second version of it, the next, the second order of things is, oh, I'm going to have to punish a young Asian kid who worked very hard to do that. Now, as you guys know, this is exactly what they're doing at Harvard right now. They are still doing it at Harvard. Harvard felt they had too many Asians. I don't know, even know what that means. They had too many Asians. This is crazy. This is what they used to do with Jews decades ago. We have too many Jews. We have too many Asians. We don't like that. They're scoring well. Uh, they seem to uh, do the work that we ask them to do and they go off and they succeed in life, but we're not really interested in that. We have this new woke ideology here. And then ultimately, of course, as you guys know, what you do is if you say to a certain kid, you're gonna get into an elite high school with lesser grades, you're gonna get into an elite college with lesser grades, you're going to get into an elite med school or grad school with lesser grades, you're going to get into the job that you want with lesser qualifications. Eventually our planes will fall out of the sky and our heart doctors will not know how to perform surgery, et cetera, et cetera. And then you will have actual racists because there will be people who will not want black pilots or heart doctors because they're gonna wanna know what the pedigree was to get them that far. That is where this is all going.